This exhibition is called 2020 Vision. It's an exploration of the fact that the world will be very different after lockdown and that it's down to us to see what we can do to make it better. This painting is called I Can See Clearly Now. It's acrylic on canvas. After this crisis, the world will be changed. We all have an influence on whether that change will be for better or for worse. Our world is teeming with life and beauty, kindness and love. Let's notice it and support it. This sculpture is called My Burden is Light. It's clay on rock. It's easy to be kind when we are firmly grounded. Sometimes we need others to help us heal and sometimes we have the strength to heal the whole world, crack by crack. He has set my feet upon a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. That's a quote from Psalm 40 verse 2. Another sculpture here. <clears throat> this is called Lewis is Lovely. It's a sculpture in clay uh, with resin and an old paintbrush. Lewis Pugh is an environmentalist and ocean advocate. He completes epic swims amongst icebergs and tirelessly fights for protection of the oceans. This piece is a cheeky tribute to his amazing work. Going further up the road, Ode to a pollinator. Humanity hangs on gossamer wings. It's not just bees, but all pollinators who protect our ecosystems and food supplies. We can return the favour by planting pollinator-friendly plants, refusing garden toxins, leaving wild areas alone and providing water. This painting is acrylic on canvas and it's called For the Love of Flowers. We each have a small sphere of influence where we can support nature and each other. A tiny little mustard seed grows into a huge tree and so our little efforts can make a huge effect over time. This is the final piece. This is called Two Wolves and it's a clay sculpture. The old man told the child, two wolves are fighting and it's a desperate battle. One wolf represents everything that destroys. Pollution, greed, hatred, envy, cruelty, selfishness, lust for power, short-sighted ambition, revenge, the pecking order, evil and despair. The other wolf represents everything that heals. Kindness to all living things, love, clean water and clean air, self-sacrifice, forgiveness, regard for future generations, self-control, community, good hope. Good and hope. Which wolf will win? asked the old man. I don't know, whispered the child. Can you tell me? Yes, said the old man. Whichever wolf you feed 
will win. This is adapted from a Native American proverb. <laughs>